some chemicals have certain uses and these are in your syllabus some of those uses are very important they appear on your exams very common and these are the easiest questions really really easy so make sure you know those because you don't want to lose those easy marks okay so this these are all summarized in one page one page guys that's the shortest it can get okay so make sure you go to the description below you print my PDF document and it's just one page so make sure you print it physically and you review it a few times before your exam all right it's very short it's not gonna take more than five minutes of your time so the first thing there are is uses of chlorine so chlorine has three uses bleach it makes things white which is things that you use in your house like if you have white linens and white laundry then you use a bleach that contains chlorine that's the first use of chlorine second disinfectant the word disinfectant means it cleans or it removes bacteria it kills bacteria number three treatment of water and the reason is it kills bacteria all right the second thing is uses of hydrogen hydrogen is a cool substance it is used to make margarine it's used as a fuel in rocket ships especially and it's used to make HCl and ammonia. Ammonia is such an important chemical because it's used to make fertilizers. All right, next chemical is sodium hydroxide. So sodium hydroxide is used for three things, actually way more than three things, but you should at least know three things. One of them is making soap. The second one is making paper. And the third one is making detergents. All right, next chemical is bromine. Bromine is used to test for unsaturated compound. If something claims to be, oh, hey, this thing is unsaturated, meaning it has double bond C cause carbon double bond C you can make sure that these people are right by adding bromine if it decolorizes then yes it has a double bond if it doesn't decolorize then no these people are liars all right that's the bromine use next chemical is ethanol ethanol is used as a solvent and as a fuel next chemical is ammonia such an important chemical it's used to make fertilizers and fertilizers improve the growth of crops and it's used to make nitric acid next chemical oxygen so important where do you use oxygen and breathing right if you go to a hospital there are oxygen cylinders why because patients need it they're sick they need oxygen so that's one thing breathing apparatus in hospitals in diving astronauts right second use is making steel because you pass oxygen through the molten iron to get rid of carbon and third use is welding it burns a fuel called acetylene to produce high energy that melts the metal so that you can weld you do this welding where you attach two metals together next chemical carbon dioxide you use carbon dioxide as a fire extinguisher i have carbon dioxide extinguisher in my kitchen everybody should and the second use is making dry ice and this is helpful for cooling uh, things and the third use is making fizzy drinks so coca-cola and pepsi and stuff these basically have carbon dioxide dissolved in them which makes them really very tasty all right next thing is diamond it's used in cutting and drilling very important use graphite is the next next thing it's used as electrodes it's used also as lubricants and in pencils next chemical silicon for excite this is basically sand so if you go to the beach next time you go to the beach just brag to your parents to your siblings and say hey this sand is basically silicon four oxide and it's used to make glass next chemical potassium manganate kmno4 it's used to test for reducing agents do you know why because it's an oxidizing agent next chemical potassium iodide it's the opposite it's used to test for oxidizing agent because it is a reducing agent next is copper copper used in chemical in electric wires to conduct electricity of course it's used in cooking utensils and maybe you've seen this before it's it's reddish brown in color or pinkish brown in color so you may have seen pots and pans that are made of copper and the third thing is that it's used in making brass next up aluminium aluminium is used in aircraft because it has a low density not very low it's 2.7 still a heavy metal but not super heavy like transition metals okay the density of 2.7 is really really light 
considering it's a metal guys this is a metal okay it's not a gas it's not plastic all right uh but we need it to be light because this thing is going to be going up in the air it's an aircraft the second use of aluminium is making overhead cables those cables that are hanging out like up there in the air and the third use is making food containers and the reason is aluminium does not corrode aluminium i mean it stays forever so you don't want to eat in something that's going to corrode or rust right okay next up is high carbon steel high carbon steel is used in rail to make railway tracks and because it's strong that's the reason it's used to make hammers and it's used to make drills and cutting tools and the reason we use high carbon steel is that high carbon steel is really really strong okay it does corrode slower than pure iron but it does corrode so do not write on the exam that we use high carbon steel because it doesn't corrode because it does all right the next one is stainless steel stainless steel actually does not corrode it does not rust ever okay and that's why we use it in these three important things number one cutlery your spoons and forks and knives are made of stainless steel because they do not rust and number two surgery tools we don't want to use surgery tools that may rust all right no thank you very much and then number three is pipes in chemical factories the next thing is mild steel mild steel is used as the core in electric cables it's also used in car bodies so the car that you use every day to go to school or, or go to you know your gym or whatever that car is made of mild steel and the reason is that it is strong it does corrode and that's why we paint our cars so it does corrode, but it is hard, and that's why we make cars from mild steel. We also make machines and screws out of mild steel again because it is strong. Next up, zinc. Zinc is used to galvanization and of iron to protect iron from rusting and to make brass because when mixed with copper, it makes brass, which looks beautiful, and uh, it's used in decorations and stuff. Next is polymers. We use polymers to make fabrics, to make ties, to make parachutes, to make robes really cool problem is non-biodegradable so it never breaks down bacteria cannot decompose it next up is concentrated h2so4 concentrated h2so4 specifically is a dehydrating agent and it's a drying agent it absorbs water very quickly and uh, and enthusiastically so it is used in several things it's used to make detergents and it's used in car batteries so yes your car has really dangerous concentrated sulfuric acid and third it's used to make dyes next up uses of petroleum fractions you have eight fractions first fraction is refinery gas this is in your kitchen guys and this is gas used for cooking and uh, heating next is gasoline which we also call petrol this is used as fuel for the car next is naphtha and this third fraction is used to making chemicals kerosene which is the fourth fraction kerosene also called paraffin p for paraffin also p for pilot okay just remember the p for pilot so ker uh, kerosene is used as a fuel for jets or for airplanes number five diesel oil or gas oil it is used for as a fuel for diesel engines and the number six is fuel oil this is uh, fuel used for ships and home heating systems and then next is lubricating oil this is used as lubricants and it's used also for making waxes and polishes and then fraction number eight is called bitumen and this is used Used to make road surfacing or surfacing roads or making roads and also used for making roofs okay that's it guys in less than eight minutes we're done with the uses of all the syllabus guys make sure you go to the description below and download the pdf so you can study from a hard copy make sure you review this before your both multiple choice and written exams but make sure you review this before your exam best wishes guys in your exams i'll see you in the next video bye